there. This is Chris and London. And today we are attempting to build the half rack from DIY Duke. Um, I'll be sure in the comment section of uh, the information section to put a link to his uh, to his build. But we're trying to replicate this. Um, I am gonna make a few little minor tweaks to what he did. He, he had two separate posts. Um, I am going to uh, uh, put it all together. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So this is, this is pretty much the design that I, I drew out. Uh, DIY Duke, he, uh, like I said, had separate posts. So this all right here was one, and then this was one. Uh, I'm gonna connect it back here just to give it some more stability. And then I'm gonna connect it up here. I'm gonna kind of incorporate, he also and his, and his sons, uh, buff dudes, put together um, a full rack, a uh, squat rack, where they did this, had a little, uh, and then they used a 60 inch, three quarter inch pipe. Uh, I'm gonna add that right here instead of having uh, a hole for an extra uh, hook to just put the barbell on. So I'm gonna have that be a permanent uh, pole. So that's that's basically what I'm doing. I'm kind of taking both of his designs and putting it into one, which I think will fit really well in my garage. What we're looking at is we're starting to make some cuts. I've got the, the front feet. Uh, here are the two poles. And over here is the little area that we have cleaned out to uh, put the, the half rack once it's complete so we can get our workout on. Isn't that right, Lo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, work on those crunches, girl. Work on those crunches. Yeah. Get it, girl, get it. Real quickly, let me just show you what we've done. We've made all of our cuts. I started to drill. Right there, a couple of the holes for where we're gonna be putting our, our J-hooks, well, homemade J-hooks, I guess you could say, our, our chin, chair flange uh, J-hooks. But I've got our beams, I've got the back support in the back. These are gonna be the, the foundational supports that run side by side. Uh, these right here are gonna be the braces that will brace the main uh, post to the uh, floor post. And then we have, what is we? Oh, uh, this is the top with the cutouts for some extra braces at the top. And then these are the front of the, uh, the I-beams that we'll have. So all in all, I think, uh, I can, I can really envision what it looks like uh, once we get it all taken care of and put together. So uh, uh, I will uh, bring you back in just a second for the next phase. Okay, we're back to the build. I have, as you can see here, I've drilled my holes. Uh, the ones right here are gonna be for the squatting position. And then down here will be for the, uh, you're gonna do bench press. Um, and then you could use, depending on what kind of angle for incline, you could use this bottom one here or this top one here. And I've done the same thing over here. Uh, you can see on that side right there. And then on the opposite, we've done one up here and there's one just like that on the other four by four. And what that'll be is that's where the, that's where the three quarter inch, 60 inch pipe will go for as a pull up bar. So now it's time to start building from the bottom up. So, like I said, with DIY Duke, he had, he has these separated so with the, the more movable. Mine's gonna be more in place. I don't plan on really on moving this anywhere, except say in the garage. So I'm doing one long piece. So to find the center to be perfect, um, this uh, beam right here at the top, is that's actually gonna be the cross beam that will go on top of the uh, of the poles 
are the columns that are over here. And so what I did was I aligned that with the bottom piece, centered that 12 inches on each side, extending, put that in the middle, and then these are the bottom uh, foundational struts. So I'm, li I'm aligning it up with this top because right here is where that uh, four by four post is, this is gonna be put on top of that to secure. So this is where we're at right now. Uh, what we will be doing next is we will be securing with, this is where we start using the nail plates to start uh, securing uh, all the cut pieces. And with these, I mean, like DIY Duke said, I mean, once you put in several of these and with your screws, I mean, this thing is going to be super strong. Um, I can't remember uh, a follow-up video for him was the half rack that he made. They wound up doing a stress test on it. And I think they went well over 500 pounds. Probably in my garage, uh, I really don't plan on doing any more than 500 uh, pounds. Uh, just in my garage, this is just gonna be on my weekend workouts where it'll be uh, kinda, especially with my son, light to moderate, maybe a little heavy. Uh, 500 pounds may sound heavy to somebody but uh, it's definitely doable for me. Um, but this is where we're at. Okay. We have the foundation put together. So as you can see here, I use those nail plates to join these two I-beams together. And I put six on each side. And then, so I've got it there, 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 there. And then I flipped it over and I did the same thing on the other side. So this is, just this foundation is very, very secure. So next we are going to uh, put the posts up, which will go right in the middle. Uh, I think it's a good amount of space to be able to come in, back out. So we've got really good support here. So here we go. Well, I forgot to video a few aspects of it. But this is basically the almost finished project. So I wound up that pull-up bar was a little bit, had a little bit some angling with, I guess, my cuts, but it wound up being a tight fit. So that sucker's not going anywhere. My son and I, we pounded on that sucker to get it to thread through, but whoo, it's not going anywhere. But this thing is, it's a uh, it's pretty strong and durable now to make the uh the uh basically the j hooks the homemade j hooks i'll show you how to do that all right i'll tell you what building one of these things and putting them together it's a it's a workout in and of itself but to put the assembly together so you, you get chair flange it what is this is a one and a half inch nipple, something like that. And screw it on. We'll see how my dexterity is after being out here in the garage working pretty much all afternoon. Uh, and just get that on there as tight as you can. Uh, I, I forget what it's called, but there is something you can spray that once you spray this locking, locking spray on it, that sticker will never come off. Then you get a coupling, and screw it on. The other end of the one and a half inch nipple. And that's huge. Uh, uh, Alright, good. Now, when this is in the rack, this part right here is what the bar will sit on. Then you get four and a half inch nipple. This is what will go through four by four. And then you will thread this through, put this on the back and screw it on. Now I do find it's a little bit loose. Um, I even got the four inch, uh, the four inch pipe. But the problem is the four inch for some reason, it comes right 
is kind of even with the back end of the four x four. So you definitely need the four and a half inch, even though there is a little bit of, uh, this doesn't tighten all the way down uh, those threads. It gets to about like right, right there and stops. I mean, you could get maybe a couple uh, pipe wrenches and really just uh, turn on it. Now you don't want to use that locking spray, that locking stuff on this back end, because if you have multiple holes in your rack, uh, this is what you will screw on and screw off to move it from hole to hole, whatever your placement needs to be and whoever, whoever is using the rack at that point in time. But uh, you just put this on here, screw it, and uh, you get it on there and you are ready to rock and roll. So let me finish this up, clean up a little bit, and then we'll show you the 100% uh, my version of DIY Duke's uh, half rack build. All right, now that you've completed your build, um, I did notice that there was a few uneven cuts that I had. Um, I did. I should have taken the time to, to make sure everything was was balanced and cut evenly straight. But regardless, it, it, it's pretty close. There's a little slight, uh, if you can see it, a little slight uh, lean. But with all the supports we have, all the nail plates, this thing, this thing is is solid. Um, on the bullet bar. Uh, myself and my son, uh, we jumped up there and just hang, and we kind of shimmed it around a little bit, didn't move at all. So, I mean, you're looking at about 200 or 450 pounds of uh, father and son uh, pulling down on that, and it survived that. So I, I think it's gonna be just fine for what I wanted to do. So the most important thing is after you clean up, you have your half rack built, is to test it out. So we're gonna test it out with the real light bench. Right. This is the really, really important part. Look at him, so strong. This is gonna do exactly what I wanted to do. Um, it was, you know, it was, it was some work, and it was an afternoon of uh, of uh, some uh, uh, splinters and uh, some calluses and and some sweat, but got it done. And uh, it was probably about half the cost of an inexpensive. Uh, Rack that I could half rack that I could purchase, and really, with it being four by fours, it's probably a lot more solid than some of those uh, inexpensive racks that you could buy with uh, probably a lower grade metal, uh, lower grade gauge. So you know, hey, get out there, get to working, get it done. Peace out. And hard work.